for his patience and that thirst Koribarekata, can only be quenched in his word can only be quenched in his presence can only be quenched in what he has destined you for Koribarekata, so as we are singing we're singing along with you those praises i believe that the spirit of god is going to to do to pour something there's an out and now pouring the spiritual realm that is being released amen hallelujah
created for his pleasures God and the seeker you were created designed to fulfill what he has purpose for you that's why your soul is thirsty that's why you feel that there is something there is something missing that's why you feel that there is a there is a void within you and and that void will only be be filled when you get to where he has purpose you to be going so that's why you continue to be thirsty that's that's why there will always be that void within you until you get to where he has purpose you until you get to where he has designed you so you will always be like as a dear pontus for the living water so my soul thirsts after you oh lord because you have have been created for your pleasure Gorika terabasi katarabasu. That's why I have. That's why this. I have this thirst within me. Gorika timara kuturu si katarabasi. Rika tarabasi katarabasu. Goro kuturu katarabasu. Goro kuturu si. Much brighter than gold. 
Just there, there is there is um the spirit of God is pouring out upon His people, kara kara basokot upon the people of God because there is a thirst, a thirst within us. That thirst kora barika tara baso is released so that the design kalibaro kotoro busi can come forth kira baso. You know when 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 the um the tailor is sewing something. He's sewing. When he's sewing and he's cutting, you don't know what is going to, to become Kori Baraba. And it is when he finishes that you see the beauty of what he was doing at the beginning. If you come and see what he's been doing, you it won't make sense to you. Kori Bareka Tarabaso. So currently, it's that thirst. It's that thirst that we are seeing in the spirit of God. In, in the spiritual realm. It's that thirst. It's that thirst. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to say some word briefly. Amen. Just briefly. Amen. Um, Daniel 12, 1 and 2. Amen. Book of Daniel, chapter one and two. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is this is a new season. Amen. And since last Sunday, the word of God about rain. Amen. As comforts. Amen. And the Spirit of God said He has released the rain. Amen. Daniel you have to say something. He says something that I, not until this afternoon. I never had the understanding. But because of the rain, the later rain, moderately, the rain and the latter rain Amen. that God has released. So this interpretation came for the first time. He said at that time it was Daniel that gave uh, God gave this prophecy for and he said at that time Michael the great prince who protects your people Amen. will arise Amen. there will be a time of distress Amen. such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until Amen. then Amen. but at that time your people everyone whose name is not found written in the book of in the book will be delivered but at that time, your people, everyone whose name is not found written in the book will be delivered. You know, this one is all he said in the book, so there are so many books in heaven. We all know that. Um, there's a book of life, and this place is now referring to book in the book. Now, the verse that I really want to work on tonight is verse 2. said, Multitude who sleep in the dust of the heart we are weak. Some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a multitude who sleep in the dust of their hearts who are weak. Now, many times we've had the understanding that uh, when uh, Jesus mm -hmm. comes, and the trumpet to be blown. Amen. That we take one and we leave one. Amen. And we had a lot of misunderstanding Amen. about this verse. Like um, Jesus is going to come, and when he comes, Amen. the trumpet will be blown. Amen. But what this verse is saying is that what is still who sleep in the dust? Of the hearts you are weak. Okay. What did you who sleep in the doors of the hearts? 
Now, I said until this afternoon, I never had the understanding. But this afternoon, I had the understanding. And the meaning is that, you know, in Joel, that's the Joel 2 23 28 has been the word for this season. Let me bring my Bible. Joel 2 23 and 28 to 32 has been the word for this season. So we're going to read it briefly. This teaching is going to be brief, it's just to release the word. He said, uh, Be glad then you, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause, and this is what is going to happen to everyone created in the image and likeness of God. Everyone created in the image and likeness of God. It's not talking about, it's not referring to just Christians in the body of Christ. Amen. Everyone. You want Amen. to call religions now. I said everyone. Amen. Even there are some people that don't belong to any religion. So it's everyone created Amen. in the image and likeness of God. Amen. He said, the former rain and the later rain will rain in the first month. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then if you go to 28, let me read 20, let me read it down. And he, and the floors shall be full of wheat. And the fire shall overflow with wine and oil. Amen. And I will restore to you the years that the locals had eaten. The canker works, the canker worm, and the caterpillar and the hammer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, plenty and be satisfied. Satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. That at tells wonders with you, and my people shall not be ashamed, and they shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Now 28 says, and I and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, upon all flesh. Upon all flesh, the theologians they they've uh, had a lot of misunderstanding about this verse. But what the Lord is saying has started to be happening because the rain has started falling already. Amen. The rain has started falling already. Amen. From now, you begin to see what eyes have not seen. Amen. You know the word that came from in the mid in the midst today. Since yesterday night, was that the time for evangelism has stopped. Those times had passed away. If you check Isaiah 20, Isaiah 43, verse 19, he said, I am going to do a new thing. He said, Behold, the former things are gone. So the time of evangelism has gone. What, is, what God is going to do through this verse is that He's pouring down His Spirit upon all flesh. Imagine people. <laughs> that have not become child of God. We, he is not about uh, like angel is coming to preach the gospel to them. No. Instant the way they are, maybe somebody is smoking <laughs> and is going to receive Holy Spirit instantly and begin to speak in tongues. Same thing that happens to the disciples at the upper room is going to come on his own. You no, know, that was a promise. Jesus said, Go to your power, be in unity. I am the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you. And it came. But this one is going to happen. That is like, it's going to be like, that's what the Bible says, it's going to come. Jesus is going to come like, like, thief in the midnight. It's not like, that verse is not even saying that Jesus, the uh, rapture is going to take up in the middle of the night. He said, Like, it's like a description. So what is going coming upon their heart is like like that. It's going to happen instant. We've watched a lot of film seeing two people eating, one was taking up, one it's not that one. It's the last trumpet. It's the seventh trumpet. And the seventh trumpet is going to be a shift. Sons will move to 
another level of songs as we go to learn obedience by what we suffer. Suffering in that place is about the revelation of Christ. You check Romans 18. Romans 8 from 18. He talks about how he said um he said for um just repeat Romans 8 18 says just want to explain how the glory of God you know, how we are going to learn obedience by what we suffer. I want to talk about that suffering that people will not be thinking like the kind of suffering this Bible is talking about. So I consider that our present suffering are not worth comparing with the glory. So present suffering comes because of the glory of God that has to be revealed in us. Amen. You know, and we check the other verse. He said for the creation wait in expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Imagine when the sheet is, I mean, when the, the rain has started falling, are you getting it? It's to, it's, we are receiving it as sons. Body of Christ is going to receive it first because you are going to be equipped so that by the time the shift starts calling, you know, rains, rains, you know, he said, he said in that verse, he said, former rain, rain, and the latter rain is going to be poured on you in the first months. In the first months, are you getting it? It might not be months in the description of months, we understand as months, it's the spirit of God speaking. And we don't know how it does this calculation about months, but it might his first month might be 10 years, his first month can be 20 years, <laughs> the first month can be 1000 years, it can be 2000 years. We don't know, but we just have to we just have to reposition ourselves. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, now what is going to happen right now is to equip the sons. Now, sons are moving, have to be shifted to sons. You know, sons in the area of carrying your cross and follow Jesus, in the area of come to learn from me, and you will, I will give you rest. Amen. You know, you will find rest to your soul. Praise the Lord. Now, babes are going to move to the level of sons. You know, sons are also living from the position of sons to another position of sons in, in a practical way. Amen. Now, that thing that you, you, you used to. Uh, stop our souls like are not like our will this is the time those will be dealt with mm. this is the time that we will find rest for our souls mm. this is the time that the real the real will of the will of god you know will start manifesting mm. in our lives because god has taught us many things we had a lot of revelation of christ now the revelation we had or we will be having mm -hmm. now is Everything we read in the Bible that we uh, we've poured out, we've preached, we've taught many people. Now, practical, practically, the manifestation is going to start right now. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is from sons to sons. You know, sons in that verse is talking about people eating meat of the world. Now, there's going to be a shift from people eating meat to people mm -hmm. eating strong meat or bones. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Now, babes. They are going to shift to sons mm -hmm. and people in the world they are going to shift to babes so mm -hmm. that's the meaning of i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh now formerly moderately we pour upon people from the world shifting to babes praise the lord mm -hmm. now uh the rain itself is going to pour upon people when it's pouring is shifting them are you getting it as long as pawn is shifting them and between now I don't know when but the 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 sons of God must be equipped so that by the time the flood comes <laughs> by the time the flood comes mm. it's going to be massive Amen. praise the Lord Amen. it's going to be huge we all know how flood flood can carry flood when remember flood like the day of Noah Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> that is the kind of thing that is coming upon now. And it's not just the lettering. He said the former rain, the rain, and the latter rain. Are you getting it? Amen. So the suffering, we're going to learn obedience about what we suffer. The suffering is meant for 
the ex, this, the, 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 is, is for, the, for the creation wait in eager for the expectation of the sons of God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So they are waiting so that by the time they come, so that, that by the time they wait for on people outside Christ and bring them to Christ. Praise the Lord. Mm. We would have been what? We would have been the glory of God would have been revealed in us because we would have our soul would have found rest. You know, the will of God. See, by the time you uh, begin to do the real will of God, as in the, what is called the will of God itself, you will know that you have been wasting years all this while. You will know that how, if I, I, I didn't mean I know, I, won't, I would have allowed myself all this while. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is what is coming upon the church right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ah, you're saying this again. Let me say it. For the when we say evangelism, we mean, we mean the street evangelism. Go to God. Yeah. Well, Where evangelism? When God is saying shifting the type of, it's going to um, people will get saved directly by the power of God. Yes. Men and women of God just be passing by, and then people will get saved. It won't be like the door to door where you have to go and talk to people and. Sometimes they want to talk to you or they don't want to talk to you. God is shifting that type of evangelism to a different one. Yes. That is what God is saying. It's like it's like he's the one. You know, the spirit of God. Imagine somebody is saying, uh, you know, can somebody say, I want to talk about Jesus. And you say, No, 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 no. It cannot be so but we don't want that. <laughs> or oh, in a country they, they want to sue you because they say yes. you disturbed. Yes. Like uh, in certain country now, if you are going and you say, please, can we talk about it? You say, no, no, don't talk about it. And you have to leave them because you can't cause them. Are you saying? In some other places, you can see, say, ah, wait now, let's talk. And the person will still wait. But yeah, they will just tell you, no, you can't. You don't want to hear. And that's it. You, can't. you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear. They force them, they can cope with. They can, and they know how to cook walls. And by the time, even the, the way they will even say it, yeah, the, the police will just you and have it. But now, uh, it is the Spirit of God. Imagine when the Spirit of God fall upon somebody. Amen. Uh, <laughs> imagine some people are praying, you know, some other angels are praying in their own prayer. Okay? And because let me tell you, everybody is Amen. fasting for God. Amen. Why would they do that? They Amen. are fasting for God. It's just that like you don't know the way. Amen. So by the time you are even preaching the way to them, they don't even want to hear. Why? Because even some people in the body of Christ, have to turn things upside down so they don't even believe in God. So it's God that is coming, it's the spirit of God that is doing his work now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, Upon all flesh. Now, this world is meant for the ministers in the body of Christ. This is a time for ministers to humble themselves. I mean, people that already we know that we respect. Are you getting people that people are looking up to? You know, people, I mean. The, the ministers of God that have turned church uh, to a place to buy and sell. Praise the Lord. I believe you understand this um, wisdom. They have turned, uh, they have made the church of the body of Christ to be full of wrinkles and spots. Please repent. 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 Change from the way you think. Renew your mind. Because by this time, when this time, you know what is called flood. Flood is going to be both judgment and both, that is how flood does. Especially huge flood. It kills some people, it saves some people. Praise the Lord. It carry cars, it carry houses. Are you getting it? And, but another thing is that when that flood gets into the ground, you see huge harvest. So it's doing a lot of things. It's carrying people. So the same thing that happened in the time of Noah. And the same thing, uh, same thing that happened is like, same, it's like what happened in the time of Noah and what want to happen now, the two of them is going to come together. So if you don't position yourself, you don't align your heart to God, if you don't humble yourself, it's going to carry that mm -hmm. person. And it's going to carry, they will get to heaven because everybody in Christ is going to heaven. So it's not about heaven, it's about the kingdom. It's only the trained one, the, um, okay, this one is coming. Remember, uh, people that were saved from the land of Egypt, all of them, they were saved. They were transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Amen. So in the wilderness, they were all saved. Amen. But it's not everybody that got to <laughs> the promised land. It's not everybody that got to the kingdom of God. 
Mm. As that verse, that description alone has explained though it's not about that coming along long with the entire kingdom. Mm. As they, yeah, they were saved, they were in Christ already. Mm. Praise the Lord. But they didn't humble themselves. And God said they would never get to the promised land. But they will not miss heaven. So it's not about heaven. It's about the kingdom. Are you getting it? You can't compare your government out, your government, uh, the government and the government house or senate house. So people that are ruling a country compared to people citizens, just ordinary citizens. People in power, you can't compare them to. They are also citizens, but also, also they are also in power. It's about the kingdom this time around. It's not about the heaven, it's not about the country. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So heaven starts from the wilderness. Everybody is in Christ. If you're a new Christ, all things are passed away, everybody, everything has become new. Praise the Lord. But you have to reposition yourself in Christ. You have to learn. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Imagine what God told him. He said, everyone that came, if I get it, apart from Caleb and Joseph and the people with him, I mean, the children that they carried the thing in their hands, because that, those are the people you want to train. Those people, they've not known anything. Even the Bible, Jesus said, if you don't take the kingdom of God like this, little ones, you not get to the, to the, you know, are you getting it? You not get to my, my father's kingdom. And that, those are the little ones he trained in the wilderness because they don't know anything. So he trained their heart, he trained their soul. He trained them from, from, from as, as old as how many, <laughs> like maybe from like a, uh, seven years to one day old. And he trained them and they grew up. They don't know anything about Egypt. They don't know anything. They don't. They 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 are. They they've not. They are. Their soul has not been polluted. So those are the people that God. And this is what is happening right now in the body of Christ. Young young people that God is secretly is building them. Those are the God. Those are the people God want to use. That is what part of the God's army. Praise the Lord. But there are also many stars that are so humble that you know, if you see them, you 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 be you have the joy of the Lord in your heart. Ah. With this your level of understanding, with how the wisdom of God in you, you are still as humble as this. Are you getting it? They are so humble. They are in the same level with all those people. They just decided to humble themselves. They, are you getting it? Hey. But there are some people that believe that ah, we are the one in town. We are the one. In, we are the one. We are, we are the one. <laughs> we are the one God is using. Please, calm down. Because at that time, God is going to use those ones he's been building secretly and he's going to place them ahead. You know, I would say the first will be the last, and the last will be the first. Now, if the last, if the first is being, becoming the last, praise the Lord. If that first becoming the last want to become the first, praise the Lord. If they want to become the first, can you see? If they want to become the first, they have to humble themselves. If they don't humble themselves, the flood will carry them. You just have to say everything that we supposed to say, or else we will say it. Um, John, 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 chapter two, verse, verse twelve to fourteen, and I close. He said, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. His name's sake. Mm -hmm. His name's sake. You have to know the meaning of the, his name's sake. Are you getting it? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? So, and it's because strong tower is, I mean, a strong tower or a rock is something that has already been established. That's why their sins are forgiven them because they are growing. That's the meaning. But see what he said about the fathers. He said, I write unto you, fathers, because he has known him. That is from the beginning. So, fathers, there is like those that believe that we are already there. <laughs> we know everything. We know God. You know, these are the these are these are ministers of God that have become politicians in church. Are you getting it? Those are the people that yeah, become politicians. They are serving money. They are believing that uh, prosperity means that God is using me. You know, they are now. Some people are even using charm. They are using different kind of things. They are people. Some people are, you know, all sorts of things are is happening in the body of Christ. These are fathers. Uh, Bible is what we saying here. See these two children, you know, <laughs> their sins are forgiving them because what they are growing. They are growing. I get your will, your will trapped it. 
and that is it is in your will that sins sit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sins. Are you getting? See what this is. Because your sins, sins is plural. Sins is the fruit, the fruit of death. Praise the Lord. So we are no we are no more sinners, but the fruit of death is sin. So that's why we are still disobeying God in Christ. Are you getting it? So he said, I like to tell you this video because your sins are forgiven. Because they are they are dropping the sins. They are dropping this fruit. You know, the Bible talks about the fruit of the spirit. And the Bible also talks about the workers of iniquity. He said the works of flesh. Are you getting it? So the work of flesh, there are so many people still doing fleshy things in Christ. So you can see they want to grow and their sins are living. Sins, not sin. Everybody in Christ, they are the righteousness of God. But it's not everybody that are the righteousness of God that their sins is living them. So let me tell you, when you get to a particular level as a leader, that is the time you're supposed to be watching yourself. But because of the anointing of Paul upon you, you will think that God is using me. Ah, everything is close. And you begin to drive people crazy. You begin to step on, on stones. You begin to show the, 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 the work of flesh. People sleeping on the, with themselves, pastors sleeping with pastors, and pastors are after somebody else's position, begin to do politics in the church, begin to fight in the meeting, the conference meeting, begin. We know all things. Even I know so many, I have so many people, friends, that are not, that if you tell them about Jesus, they'll say, No, 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 no. I remember one guy that I talked to about in, 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 in my piece of work said, No, eh, me, you coming, coming to church. To that place to be place to be collecting my money. <laughs> that was that was the end. I don't even know what to say again. Because imagine people that are not even uh gospel, you know, they are not you know, I mean go, gospel Christians. Are you getting it? Pentecostal, yes, thank you. Exactly. Pentecostals <laughs> that but they are still in the body of Christ, fathers and all those things. But see all the atrocities here that is, has happened. And I said, I have I like unto you, Father, because you have known him from the beginning. Can you see? They know him from the beginning. They are fathers, or they're supposed to be children. The Bible says, anyone doesn't receive the kingdom of God like these children. It means that God wants fathers to become children. <laughs> are you getting it? Mm -hmm. So it takes. I'm not talking about babies, babies fed from children. Now, he wants you to humble yourself. It's only children. You know children now, they are very, very simple in heart. They love everybody. They play with everybody. They don't have any... They are the divination of divination of love. Their love gives no records of wrong. They are the, those are, they are the children. <laughs> that scripture is the best people to use to describe, to divine love. In uh, 1 Corinthians 13. Is what? Or is it 14 or 13? Is children. They do things naturally. It comes to them naturally. Praise the Lord. See mm. what he said next. I, I finish this and we close. He said, I left unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. Can you see? You have overcome the wicked one. So now, young men, young men here, they are sons that are becoming sons by learning obedience. Mm. Children here are, are babes. They are becoming sons. Mm. But fathers, they are neither not nor old. <laughs> they are neither nor you know we respect fathers a lot. And because of that, because we respect fathers, we see God in their hearts. You know, some fathers, some fathers in the body of Christ, they are doing wrong thing. But they will teach they will preach to you that don't do what I do. <laughs> you know, you know, follow what follow the God I carry. Because they know what they are doing secretly that we don't know. Are you getting it? See what see the upgrading part of the verse. Now uh, he said that I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. Can you see? It takes grace, it takes sonship. People is some some going to overcome the wicked one. Now let's continue. Transporting said, I have so it's like now initially it's I write now I have it's like the same person that wrote this thing is came back maybe after after the end of verse thirteen he went on a journey for a long time and he came to check the church again and he, by when he came he saw 
when they begin to be asking the spirit of God, God, what 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 is the level of these people? And he, he began to tell them, and back he began to Holy Spirit began to tell him about the state of the heart of people. See what he wrote. He said, I have you will see now. He said, I have written unto you, fathers. No, okay. It's, it's the end of verse 13. He said, I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father now. Can you see initially? He has sins are forgiven them for his name's sake. Now he said, I, I, I write unto you, fathers. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. Hmm. So they have graduated. <laughs> But see what he wrote to the fathers. He said, because you are known to the father, this father here is not talking about the father in verse 14. This father here is talking about fathers, God. Praise the Lord. But the verse 14 is talking about fathers, people that are fathers in the body of Christ. He said, I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him from the beginning. Can you see? They are seeing the same stage. They are seeing the same level. They are neither not, they are neither hot. Or cold, they are still in the same level. Praise the Lord. Amen. I think this is what God wants me to read before I read the revelation. Because for me, I want to close, but He's still telling me. You know, He's the owner of His word, and you have to follow Him. And when I said to young men, He said, I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. When we say ye, when you, I mean, say, those who know their God shall be strong. It is when they have become strong, they will now do exploits. See what he said. He said, I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abided in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. And can you see two things have been added to young men? <laughs> Another level has been added to children. Children now have known the father. <laughs> but the fathers, they are still in the same position. They are still in the same position. That's why the first will be the last, and the last will be the first. That's the reason that uh, God is building people secretly. That is going to use for this end time. Amen. It's called the God end time armies, Amen. and they are every part of the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now, fathers that are still knowing God from the beginning to the end, they are neither cold nor hot. This is your world. So. If you are not part of them watching you, glory be to God. But if you are part of them, please humble yourself and let God take charge. He said, Revelation 2, 5 and 7. He said, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent. And do the first works. The first works. Can you see? You are still the same father, and you are still remaining father. No growing, no coming. You are still in the same position. But don't forget, he called you and he gave you a mandate. Go back and sort out that mandate. You, everyone that is called has a the description of his calling. I have my own. There's a lot. But a lot of people have been shifted from that mandate. They are doing their own thing. Amen. They are buying and selling the body of Christ. He said, repent and do the first works. Or else, I will come unto thee quickly. And will remove thy candlestick out of his place. Except thou repent. You may think that this world is meant, is meant for your church. If it's... If it's uh, uh, it, by angels of Ephesus. Mm. <laughs> but that is every word of God. <laughs> you know, is meant for. You don't know that you're a church. The Bible says, ah, uh, uh, um, um, your, your body is where, is a temple. What do we call temple? If it's not a church, the temple is where God lives. Mm. So, it, the word of God talks to individuals and it talks to corporate people at the same time. Praise the Lord. Amen. See what verse 7 said. He said, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Unto the churches now. It's like he's talking to a lot of others, people that call themselves fathers. Now, 
to him that overcomes overcomes will I give to feet of the tree of life, which is in the middle of the paradise of God. So if you repent, wow, <laughs> it's going to hit from you are going to eat from the tree of life. Praise God. The tree of life is for sons. Sons, 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 sons want to grow. You can say, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't forget Jesus drank from, he drank the cup from the cup of his father. <laughs> Are you getting it? So he drank some measure of, and he drank directly from his father. You know, that was why he was able to die for all of us. Right now we are all in Christ, and we are also to hit all of us. We are to hit together the what from the tree of life that is in the middle of the paradise of God. This is what, but fathers, if you don't repent, you say, or helps, or helps, means that I'm giving you some time to repent. You may think that, well, who is this small boy talking? Where do you, who gave you the ultras to speak? Well, God can use anybody. Who gave you ultras to speak? God can use anybody. The secretary is he that lives in me. So you can see now that we're speaking gently. If you, if, you don't, if you don't have us in the afternoon, we're not speaking gently at all. Well, God, He says, in heaven, God is the one that pleases Him. He speak gently sometimes. He speak. <laughs> he's a lion and he's a sheep. <laughs> so mm -hmm. he can, he can, he can. So now that's your word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Isaiah 60. Say, arise and shine, for your light has come. Arise, shine, for your light has come. So this word is meant for everyone Amen. that is created in the image and likeness of God. Amen. I remember this years back, I used to pray for everyone. That day I was crying that God didn't create anyone to go to the lake of fire. So people in the world that had died, that was how that was not how they prepared or they planned when they were living, when God is sending them to their hearts. They never said they are going, they never thought in their mind that they are going to end in that place. So I started crying that God, please save everyone, everyone. So this is the time the rain has started falling. Anything can happen anytime. But imagine if uh the people in the world are being converted and we are not ready and we're still doing like the way we've been doing are you getting it <laughs> we're still being arrogant we've been jealous uh, all the kind of things so now please rise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord rises upon you mm -hmm. he says see darkness covers the hearts and see, darkness is over the people. But the Lord arises unto you. See that verse. It didn't say the Lord arises unto the children of God. Not unto you alone in the body of Christ. He said, arise and shine for your light has come. What is coming upon the heart? The Spirit of God has been released upon the heart. It's going to cut people on our way. Now, all the revelation, all the things we've watched about rapture, rapture. This is what is going to start playing on right now mm -hmm. you will see somebody hitting and imagine somebody carrying their gods on their heads or in the streets imagine in uh, africa where they used to do egun <laughs> people carry egun even these days now egun and dancing they are dancing different kind of dance now <laughs> you know people are doing their festival and the spirit of god call upon them and begin to speak in tongues imagine people doing egun carrying masquerade masquerade Eh? You don't realize mm -hmm. it's a human being in that place. Now, mm -hmm. Master began to speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. So you don't, you don't position ourselves well. <laughs> because immediately, if we see that, mm -hmm. sons are to move to them and tell them, This is what is happening to you. You can see that was what the disciples were doing. <laughs> when they get to it, they say, This is what is happening. Imagine when uh, they heal that man. At the, uh, at the beautiful gate, when you have for money, say you don't have money. What we have is what we'll give you, and you say in the name of Jesus, arise and shine, and arise and walk. 
and the man went to the church he rose and started walking and went to the church and people were seeing and said and the so this and the disciple went said they went into the synagogue and they started saying the same God that you crucified is <laughs> the same work it is it's the same is his name that we use to heal this person and they started preaching it you know what happened if they stood up and they went to the synagogue and they started preaching that is the same thing I'm saying so imagine somebody people in their place of worship worshiping their other gods are you getting it and the spirit of God fall and they begin to speak in tongues amen in the first time they will first be confused that what is happening to them amen. so sons of God are going to move there amen. are you getting it and at, what I saw is that I see I, I'm seeing light 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 in different part of the world amen. so God is building people in strategic area so that by this time this thing happening imagine somebody is and let me tell you this thing can cause a lot of accidents so it's the same thing that we're saying about that the last trumpet when the trumpet sound because imagine somebody that is driving and the spirit of God came upon is that not an accident that's going to happen so this thing is going to ha what has never happened before first Corinthians 2 9 said what eyes have not seen what ears have not heard what has never passed to the heart of man is what God will do for those who love him are you getting it? Are you getting it? Let me tell you, for those who love him, <laughs> all those people to them, they are serving God. That's why they can't fight anybody. They can't even fight Christians trying to combat them. We watched one YouTube, YouTube two days ago about man, one man in, in a particular country preaching about Jesus. And those people in other in order with, with their other religions started fighting him. That how can he be preaching about uh, another religion to them? That they have their own religions, and before you know it, they call police. But to those people in their home, so they are that's all is testing for God. So, because people are looking for God, they are doing they are doing all sorts of things, calling it uh, their own way to God. So, to God, God they love God, that to them they love God. We may not see it like that, but to them they love God, and they are serving this thing, people carrying their own gods. You know, I don't want to call uh, the country, but people carrying their own gods and doing festivals, doing all sorts of things. Praise the Lord. To them, they are serving God. Somebody bowing to 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 to, to a particular status or whatever status. Are you getting it? To him, he's serving God. Are you getting it? So it's ignorance. And the Bible says that the day of ignorance will God forgive. Can you see? So to to them, they are serving. But now the real God. And it can be that those people they have the same spirit and the same spirit they are using to serve those kind of images. Mm -hmm. That's kind of same spirit they are going to when the right spirit comes upon them, they are going to serve God in that kind of spirit. Now that's the reason that children of God must be equipped and you must align and position of yourself so that by the time these things start happening, you know what to do. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. And this thing is about woman taking. God will tell you, go, go, go. There was a time that God sent Philip. <laughs> to a particular place when he got there he didn't even know what to do until he, he saw a man uh, what is this name of this man he saw that man uh, uh, call it something harsh or something like that he was reading about uh, um, uh, it's, yes eh? it's Philip it's Philip that uh, went to Enoch Enoch, Enoch, Enoch or whatever that man and he saw him read, right, reading the story about Jesus. And that was when Philip knew that, oh, this is the reason God sent me to this particular street. I get it. So at that time, the children of God is going to, they are going to be sent in different areas. You know, like sometimes they will be going on the streets and see somebody speaking in tongues. They know that, ah, no, God has fallen upon your person. So they know what to do. They bring the person in. And so those are the things. Amen. Are you getting it? So, Amen. Uh, Amen. let's reposition ourselves. Let be in spirit, the, the, uh, the word of God, the, the point of the spirit of God, the down point I've already started. But let Amen. me tell you, it's, I think it's first to, you know when they, every day want to fall, you will first say some drops, some Amen. drops. But you see the cloud, Amen. and it will become black. But you will see the drop. You, you personally, you know that this kind of rain is, hey, wait. It's better I quickly run to my house because this rain is going to carry houses. There are mm -hmm. some. There are some with signs you will know. But this is, this is this is not just sign. 
the outpouring that already started. So let's position ourselves. Fathers, please return back to your first love. To as such what God demanded of God upon your life. So that uh, Amen. so that you will not meet your heart away. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because let me tell you, uh, <laughs> stepping on toes, I mean growing from sons to one to sons that will let me be there, my word is so far. That that kind of learning, eh? Mm -hmm. you, are, you want to remove the wind of the word from your soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Amen. a lot of things is going to happen. Uh, the foreign angels and Lucifer, all of them, they are going back <laughs> to their cave, to where they came from, Amen. to the to to where to the tree of the knowledge. They are, they were already in the cave, in the tree before Adam hit them. So Amen. that's where they are going back. But you know that the root of that tree is, is, is in the lake of fire. <laughs> that is where they belong. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, let's just finish up with this song. Amen. That same song. Oh, we're not going to sing, Lord, prepare me. Okay. No. So as we are singing it, amen, we are, we are. It is a prayer at the same time as God is. Let me say one or two things before I finish. Uh, this time there will be shifting. There will be different kind of shifting, different kind of way God is going to shift. By this time, by the time the full the, this thing come fully, uh, don't say I was born in Nigeria. I was born in Canada, and my house is in France, or my my family is uh, in in Norway. No, God is going. There will be a changing. You know, sons, there will be what shifts people. Go send people from places to places, Amen. places to places, Amen. places to places. Amen. You know, uh, Bible says, anyone that who doesn't carry his cross and follow his commandments of me, praise the Lord. Say if you, if you if you love your father or your mother more than me, if you love your wife or your children more than me. Mm -hmm. Even the children itself, they they are going to be part of it. <laughs> The wives, they are going to be part of it. Amen. Are you getting it? I'm not saying you're going to leave your husband, or you're going to leave your life, or you're going to leave your children. What I mean is that everyone is going to participate in this thing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, there will be shifting. Like, I mean, God will tell you that you, you are going to this place. You are going to this place. You are Amen. going to this place. Amen. If you think that, ah, I want to come to UK, I want to come to America. Glory be to God. I, God is even looking for people in that place. That is where you know that <laughs> serious assignments are here. <laughs> serious one, deep one, very, very serious one. Amen. So, Lord. so that will be by that. And we are going to depend on God for our feeding. Mm. What is God's prosperity is God, I need this and He provides it. It's not like uh, you're going to have one billion in your account and you know that. It's about depending on God. Amen. That is what is going to happen. Or you will not what? You will never leave your first city. This is just a preparation of our mind. And this is the word, this word has been has gone around. And you see a lot of people begin to receive this same word around the world and they will begin to give this kind of message everywhere. Children when having dreams. Yes, children will be that is what the my Bible says. He said, I'll go my faith speed upon your faith says the matches. He said, uh, um, your young men will uh, see visions. Professor, your young man. It's the same thing. It's Joe. It's the same Joe. Sorry, I don't know how to crack, but before. I know what I want to say. Yes, he said, um, the same 27. He said, it shall come to pass after what I will put my power, my spirit upon all flesh, your, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Can you see it's time for everyone? And also your servants and your, you that have house help in the house. <laughs> you have mm -hmm. you have because of people's slaves or servants. You say, and also your upon the servants and upon the hands me in those days the high call out my spirit. Mm -hmm. So everybody is going to part, be part of this. Just no, being really. self, being spirit and all that. Being spirit anytime. Because this time also the darkness <laughs> is covering the heart. So, Lord, so if you don't be in spirit, the flood will carry you. God is to do both things. So I will pour out my faith upon all faith, the flood on his own. 
But the day of Noah also is before on his own. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. We want him to say much. The Holy Spirit to maybe release the other ones in our heart. Let's sing this song. So as we are positioning ourselves, we are going to sing this worship. Amen. I believe that the Spirit of God is going to do something as we are singing, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary for my holy. to you. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. I'm Lord, I lift up my hands to say, build me, build me. So this is your temple that, that you have created for your pleasure. Amen. So let's sing it together and lift our hand prophetically as we are positioning ourselves to what God is doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
tried for your glory. Oh, I carry my sin. David said, I thank God that I was afflicted by David because in the afflictions, oh Lord, I have learned his ways. A sanctuary tried. A sanctuary that has been tried is shifted to the next level for his glory. And when you get to the next level, you walk in his way and you walk in his path onto the purpose he has created for you. And I see this happening and I see the finishing work of the Lord. I see the finishing work. I see the finishing work of the image I'm seeing, I'm seeing the tailor who has been cutting things and now the finishing work is bringing it out. It's becoming beautiful with gold, with, with all kind of design on the cove and that's the finishing work, the finishing work. He has been tried, he cut it here, he cut it there, he, he cut it here, he cut it put all the different design here and there, put it together, and now the finishing work is being released, essentially. Tried. 
that has become pure and holy as the Father has desired before the foundation of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thanks. Thank you so much for all the, um, the people who have joined us. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, I want to miss them. I uh, want to do that. Amen. So God bless you. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Amen.